Hello and welcome to The Empowering Word. I'm Pastor Ken Brown. Uh, I'm thankful that you joined me again this week. Uh, we're going to continue our series in the names of God. Today uh, is a very special uh, word. That I, again, it's, you know, some of these words we talk about the, the, the idea of a self-revelation of God. Um, and then sometimes there's an, an essence of his character that's revealed by his actions towards us. And we, and we respond in, in attributing those things to him. And so today's word, today's name of God is El Roy. And what El Roy means, El Roy, El, God, and then Roy, who sees me. The God who sees me. Where we first see this in the Old Testament, we see this in the Hebrew Scriptures in Genesis chapter 16, as Hagar, the, the handmaiden uh, to Sarah, the, 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 the woman that was given to basically to, to Abraham to bear a child with because, because Sarah just couldn't see uh, how the promise of God could come uh, through uh, her, her line and through her lineage. So she says, you know what, I, I got a better idea. I'm going to I'm going to give you my maidservant, Hagar, and, and, and have a relationship with her. Have relations with her, Abraham, that you might bear a son, that the promise that God gave us would be fulfilled. And it's in this place that Hagar, who was basically sent out, she, she was, she was uh, because of this illegitimate child and, and, and the fact that God was going to answer not by Ishmael, not by her child Ishmael, but rather by the seed of Abraham and Sarah, Isaac. And so we see this dynamic here where Hagar basically is crying to the Lord. She, she's crying out to God. And in the place of her crying out to God, as she feels abandoned, as she feels alone, God speaks to her and basically begins to prophesy or to begin to speak about her son and the lineage of her son and the fact that there is that 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 he he saw her there in that place and her response was to declare you are El Roy you are the God who sees me what a powerful revelation she had in this place of despair that God being all supreme all powerful would see her would note her would take notice and so she declares this 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 dynamic and so we see this later in scripture as as the the song of david in psalm 139 you have searched me lord you have searched me O god and you know me you know when i sit and when i rise you perceive my thoughts from afar you discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to obtain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book, but for one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awaken, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked away from me. 
you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord, and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them as my enemies. Search me, O God. Know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. David saw the same thing. He saw the hand of the Lord upon him. He saw the glory of God. David was, was, was a man after God's heart. He, but he saw something. God saw him. This shepherd boy out in the fields. This shepherd boy tending flocks. This shepherd boy who with a slingshot took out the lion and the bear. This mighty warrior that was a shepherd that, that, that cared tenderly for sheep. God saw him. God knew him. What a powerful revelation. What a powerful understanding. I mean, so many people walk through life feeling like they're insignificant, feeling like they're not loved, feeling like if I just disappeared, no one would care. God cares. God knows you. He he knows He knows you. He knows you in, the, in your innermost being. He, he mysteriously and wonderfully created you exactly as you are. He created you. He loves you. He wants you to know Him. He wants you to have relationship with Him. To know that He knows you. And the dynamic of being known by Him. Oh, oh, to know Him. Oh, that we might know Him in the same way. Oh, that we might have fellowship with the Spirit of God, with the Holy Spirit. Only the Spirit of a man knows the depths, and only the Spirit of God knows the very depths of God, and the Spirit that dwells in us knows the very depths of God. He sees you, friend. He sees you where you are right now. He loves you. He loves you. And in this place, in this place, in this place, as you see that He is reaching out to you, as you see that He is, He is, He He sees your situation, He sees the dynamics that are going on. In the midst of that, know that He cares. Reach out to Him. Reach back to Him. Ask that He would move on your behalf. Ask. Ask. Have Him open up your heart to Him. Open up your life to Him. Give Him your life. Ask Him, search me, O God. Search me, O God. See me for who I am and reveal everything in me that is not of you, that you might bring me into into life everlasting, that you you might bring me into life and godliness. Ask Him today. Seek Him. He can be found. Knock. That door will be open. Friends, that's all the time I have today. I'm so thankful you joined me. I'm so thankful that that this word is, is, is living and active. It cuts right into the heart of the matter. It it discerns the intentions of our hearts. It, It reveals us. It interprets us. It shows us who God is, and how, and how much He loves and cares for us. God sees you today, friend. He sees you where you are. I want you to walk and live empowered by that very word. Be blessed today.